Hello, my name is Laura Shedd, and we will be discussing the strategy of the hot seat. First, let's start with the definition. The hot seat is a role-playing activity where students become a person from history or a character from a story or book they have read. The next step of the process is for peers to interview the student in the hot seat to get to know the character or historical figure better. How can this help my students, you might ask? Through this reading strategy, students can investigate the character or historical figure more thoroughly. They can also take a more in-depth look at the storyline. Students can then infer or draw conclusions, taking risks on their interpretations of the story. As the teacher, there are five main steps that you can take to prepare a student for the hot seat. Step one, through the reading of the book, either nonfiction or fiction, the student will get to know the character or historical figure better. Number two, design a costume or and gather needed objects in, that will represent your historical figure or character. Number three, create an introduction on the important facts about your character. Step four, Prepare classmates to ask questions or add comments. Step five, the last step, conclude with a summary of main ideas presented on the topic. Now, teachers need to prepare the interviewers to ask good questions. First, students should require more than a yes or no answer to the questions that they ask the student in the hot seat. When about to ask interview questions, they should consider the setting that the character or historical figure is in, including the environment and the time period. Here are some helpful hints that you can give students when preparing to ask interview questions. Have the interviewers consider the feelings or the thoughts that the character or historical figure might have. They can ask questions about the relationships that the character has had. Interviewers can also think about what they'd like to know about the character's ideas about life or the world. They can also use this time to get to know the background or past accomplishments of this person. Maybe the interviewers can get the student in the hot seat to infer about what they think the character's future plans were. And last, students can ask characters their reasoning behind a certain action. This can be an extremely helpful tool for students who are struggling with reading. Through the use of interview questions, it helps students make higher level connections when they're reading, as well as helping them understand what they just read. For those in the hot seat, Struggling readers can use a graphic organizer to assist them in gathering information about their character or historical figure. English language learners can also benefit from the reading strategy of the hot seat. The group setting allows them to become familiar with the character or historical figure through the interactions between the interviewers and the student in the hot seat. To better assist English language learners, have them create a picture dictionary associated with the topic so they can become better acquainted with specific vocabulary and terminology. This is also an excellent activity for students of all different learning styles. Visual learners get to see the character in action, auditory learners get to hear and ask questions about the topic, and kinesthetic learners get to act out and create artifacts made by people from history or in stories. Here are some final additional ideas that you can use to incorporate the hot seat. Create a group hot seat activity where you can have characters from the same book or different books or historical figures from a similar era or a broad range of time periods interacting with one another. Last is a secret word game where classmates use interview questions to guess a word known only by the student in the hot seat. Thank you for your time and I hope you can use these amazing strategies in your classroom.